Hi, as promised, I am back to do the little dragonfly. I'm in Letters to Live By. Yeah, this is the clamp right here that sticks out. So if I keep hitting that, sorry. I use that also as a marker for when I'm at the edge of the screen. So anyway, anywho, I had said I was going to use some teals. I have... Um, Helio Turquoise 155. These are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. And then I have Cobalt Turquoise 153 and Light Cobalt Turquoise 154. So we'll just leave those over here light to dark. And then I also pulled these because I don't want just a circle of solid mass. I want to mix some color in there. So I have um, Light Magenta number 119. Middle Purple Pink. Well, that's a different name, isn't it? 125. And Crimson, which we normally think of as red, but that is not red. 134. So I've got those light to dark. I'm going to go ahead and start with my teal because I do want the teal to be my main color just because I love teal so much. So, and these could be just a touch sharper to get started. Okay, and I'm using this thing here. I got it off of Amazon. It's electric and battery operated. So I really like that about it. And you can set it for point, a semi point, or flat. I always keep it on the point. The front lifts right off. The only problem with these kind of sharpeners is you have to pull it out and look from time to time, or you will sharpen that whole pencil down to a nub because it will not automatically start um, start and stop for you. So I am going to start with my lightest color, and I don't have a real plan in here, except that I'm going to do various sections in the different shades. And I'm probably going to need to add another color in here besides just the teals and the fuchsia magenta colors but this is all I brought back here for today um, I figure we'll get quite a bit of this in and then see how it looks and then my middle shade if you need to push pause and go back and see what the colors were go ahead now I'm going to hold this pencil further back on the barrel so that I cannot push down as hard because, as I have told you in the past, I am very heavy-handed. So, and if you've not seen any of my other videos, I've got well over 200 on YouTube, probably. Um, I used to have a little following over on Patreon.com under, I think it was under Pam or Pamela Proctor. Proctors with O's, and that is still up, but there's new, no new material over there, so, but some people are still just doing the monthly to donate, just to help me out, because I do so many free videos now. Yeah, I just figured it was better to keep doing it for free. Oh, yeah, getting paid would be awesome, but um, so far I haven't been picked up by any company or anything. I've had some companies donate some supplies, but not anything with any regularity. In fact, I haven't heard anything from anybody in months, probably a year. And it, it goes that way, so that's all right. Do what I do. I love doing it. Now I'm on my darker shade here. Getting right up here in this area to really 
deepen that. It'll help push it back some and make the wings look a lot more dimensional. Okay, then I'm going to come back with my lightest color, not with a blender, and just blend all this. See, I can use my lightest color in my grouping and it will do the blending for me without dulling out. Remember the video that we did with this D and how I used white down through there? And you can really see down here where it's quite a bit lighter. So, um, yeah, white will really lighten it. And I'm not wanting it really lightened. I'm wanting it more blended. So... All right, we've got that. I'll use another color in here. Um, let's go ahead and repeat this up here on this. And see, I can I can hold down good on the lighter colors on the pencil. It's when I start doing those darker colors that I get really heavy handed and it just kind of overtakes it. Now, one thing I'm seeing, I'm going to go back to the middle shade. I'm going to go ahead and do just a little bit more here on that middle shade. And that just makes it look a little bit more like it's tucked under the other wing. See what I'm saying? It just kind of pushed that to the background a little bit. So now the middle shade here, I'll come in on both sides. And I'll come around that circle just like I did this one. I'm just mimicking what I did before. And again, if I make any big coloring messes, I've got my eraser and I can go back and erase later. I'm not going to waste your view time erasing. Yeah, we all make mistakes and need to go back and erase from time to time. And see, I'm holding my pencil about halfway back on that one. Just what I needed at the time. Now, I do need some control on this, so I stay in here. So I will go ahead and grip this a little closer. And sometimes you can get the three, the light, medium, and dark with three. Sometimes if it's a big area, I've used four or five colors when I'm doing gold. You know, you've seen me do that. I use, goodness, five colors. Sometimes you might only need a couple. It just depends on what you're doing. But see, then that looks fairly soft and light. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I will use this again in two other places. And I'm seeing how these loops are really part of this D. So I'm probably going to come back in with these purples and do some of that. But if you'll, you know, in your kitchen, this is a weird um, connection here, but you have your refrigerator your sink, and your stove, kind of in a triangle, so you can go from one to the other. When you're coloring, if you will reuse a color in like a triangle area, it will bring that color through and just make it look more cohesive, I guess would be a good word for it. Not sure. Not sure if that's what I'm thinking. But um, so I'm going to use it again on these flowers. And I had not planned this before I came in. I'm just deciding, hey, I need to spread this color out some and use it in a couple different places. Sorry, I'm looking up in my camera, which is at a slant and dark for me to look through. But I'm um, just trying to make sure I've got you still where you can see what's going on here. I know the pencil gets in the way some. I cannot do anything about that. I do my best to keep my hand out of the way. 
And I've been playing a lot of games on my phone this morning, so my eyes are really tired. So probably not the best time to have done this, but it's going to work. Now, this is my middle shade. So I'm going to use it right here in the front and then use it across the middle of each of these. And I'm just barely touching the paper because I don't want that to end up real dark. You know, I don't want it to be heavy handed already. Okay, so now I did the middle. So I'm going to come down here and repeat. Now on this, I'm doing the entire petal. This is that petal that's on top. And I'm treating this as if it's a flower, whether it is or not. Now the middle. Okay, now I'm going to move to that darkest shade, that um, Helio Turquoise 155. And I'm going to just barely touch. I mean barely. Can't even see that probably. But then I'm going to really put it in here and blend out. And I'll put it in here. I'll put it over here. And then I'll go back to the lightest color and blend all of this. Just really blend that good. Yeah, I'm not the best at keeping my pencils sharpened. Somebody said once in the comments, your pencils are so dull. Yeah, it, it happens that way. <laughs> okay, back to my dark again really getting that dark in there. When I do little like that, you can tell my pencil is sharp. But once I get to the blending and stuff, not always so much. There we go. Then back to my lightest. And just blend it all. And the blending's pretty easy with these pencils. These are the polychromos. My favorites, my favorites would be the polychromos by Faber-Castell. That's these. The Marco Renoirs, not the Raffines. The Raffines to me are kind of scratchy, but the Renoirs, um, there's been a huge debate if they're oil or wax. If you ask the people that sell them in America, they say they're oil. If you ask the maker in um, overseas, they say it's wax. But I like them. They blend very well. I have the Prismas. They seem to get a lot of that waxy buildup too soon for me. So um, not my go-to pencil. I also have the Crayola that's the big count box. I mean, like, the biggest one you can get. And um, I also really like those. And I'm trying to think what else I want to do in this color before I change over. Mm, let's see. Because if I do every other one of these in the pink, I think that's kind of, I don't know, seems like it might look a little messy to me. And what I may do is just do some in the blue, some in the pink, and then go to gel pens that are glitter. In fact, I think that might be really pretty. Let me go with this. And this. So this curved piece. And I'm going to have it get darker as it comes up here. So that's why I've left a bit. And then I'll probably have it get darker as it comes up to the top tip there. Um, let's see what else. Let's go ahead and do this one so that it mirrors what I've done up here. In fact, can't hurt to do this. Which would be this. And both of these, am I still in? Yes. Good deal. 
Oh, I know when I watch a video of any kind, if they're off the page, I know how frustrating that can be. So I try my best not to do that to y'all. Okay, and then I'm also going to do this one to mirror this one. And that's just me. If you're coloring along or watching, um, your book is your book. You do what you want. I'm just showing you what I do and some of the reasoning behind my thinking. And sometimes there's not any. Okay, then I'm going to go to the middle shade lightly and getting softer, softer as I come down. And sometimes you may find you don't even need to blend. Okay. Just don't get too dark too fast. You'll find yourself erasing it. Now there are times that you've seen me get dark fast and then I erase it and it leaves the paper stained. But I've meant to do that. Now there's times I've done it that I haven't meant to do it. But I've told you that too. Yeah, so if you've, you've not seen my videos, like I said, there's a ton of them out there. My husband tells people, she's got so many videos, if you put in Pam Proctor and then put in color theory, her name's going to pop up. And I'm like, color theory, where do you get that? And he goes, well, you're coloring. It kind of is. I'm like, yeah, you're right. But <laughs> hadn't thought of it that way. Now I've gone to my darkest. I'm just getting up in those last little areas. And see how it's looking more dimensional? It doesn't just look as flat. And to me, it's worth the time. I mean, what am I going to be doing? Sitting in the living room watching TV? And if I were, I would take my coloring stuff with me because that's what I do. Okay, now I'm going to go on over to the pinks. No, I'm not. I just saw something and decided, okay, I need to sharpen. It's just such little bitty spaces in here. Okay, see all these around? I've just decided that I want them in this blue. I don't know. Just decided it. All right. Um, let's use this. Is this my lighter or my darker? I'm having a hard time telling. I got these two mixed up. Okay, this one I believe is the lighter one. Okay, so I'm using my medium one. Yeah, it's a little bitty. That's why I sharpened everything real quick. Not everything. I sharpened the one that was dull. The one I'm not even using yet. And then I'm going to do this bit here. All right. See how that all pulls together, though? And then I'm going to come in with the darkest and just do around that circle. Yeah, I, I could have just as easily done right here. I just decided the circle. Don't know. No rhyme or reason. Now I'll come in with the light and blend this. And it will also lighten it all just a bit because I'm coming in with a lighter color. Okay, see? Now I think that really added to it. Now since I've done some of that with the body, I'm going to go ahead and do some of the body here. Um, again... Why do I keep getting these pencils mixed up? All right. My scratch sheet. So I think this one's the lighter one. All right. That's why I try to hold them in the right order in my hand so that as I'm coloring, I pull. And like if I pull the middle one, I try to leave my hand like this so I know it goes back where my thumb is. 
but it doesn't always work that way. Yeah, that piece of paper is behind the page so that I'm not indenting with the pencil into the next page. That's one reason why sometimes I really like these one-sided pages to color because I don't have to worry about messing up the next page. Let's see, what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to go ahead and keep going. And then I may do these in a pop of black glitter and then do here every other one black glitter and that'll help pull that all in together. So now the dark. And this time I'm just going to the corners. Corners again. It doesn't matter. You can pick corners, you can pick whatever. You can choose to do it all in one color. I mean, there's there's not a big, there's no big ruling on it. There are no coloring police. The thing is, I want you to have fun. All right, so I'm gonna put those down. What's our time? Oh, let's see, we're at 21 minutes, so we can still color for just a little bit. So now I'm gonna come in with these colors. Whoa, not even sharpened. All righty, that's a good sharp. And I already gave you their names. So I have them light to dark, and I know the leads look deceiving here. Oh, I got these really sharp, but so I'm going to come here with the lightest. And do a pretty big area there. And then I will get darker as I go up. The wing just like I did with that teal or turquoise or whatever it's called it was turquoise is what it all right then my next one see and these are really pointed more than what I like it's kind of hard for me to work with them. I'm afraid of snapping that point off. But I guess that's good in a way too because it's making me not push as hard on my pencils. So there's that. All right, I think it's been a long time since I've mentioned the coloring group that I'm on on Facebook. Um, it's a group that's not into skulls and not into Halloween. They're not a religious group. They just keep things on the cleaner side. Um, not that skulls and stuff aren't clean. So maybe that's part of the name. It's Coloring Books Keep It Clean on Facebook and it's a ladies only group. Sorry guys. It's a um, safe place for women to come, and it's just the lighter side of life that makes sense. So if you're looking for a place to land while you color, that might would be a good fit. I encourage you to check that group out. And tell them I sent you. All right, so what else? What else do I want to do? I kind of want to go down in here, except I know it's going to butt up right next to that. So I think what I'll do, 
when in doubt, leave it out. So I'm going to say for now, I'm not going to do anything there. I'm going to finish these. And then I'll work on something else and come back to this. Does that make sense? And I don't think I really need the darkest dark in that one. I think just these two shades is fine. Just blend that a little. All right. So now then, I want to repeat these somewhere else down here. So, and again, I did not sit and plan this out first. You know what I think I'm going to do with this? Can you see the bottom? Not all the way. Okay, so let me show you from the top. Do you see the hearts all the way across? It's going to take some time, but I'm calling these hearts. I'm going to do like this on every one of them. And again, um, I might should have done gel pens. It would have gone a lot faster. But fast isn't always best. You know what I mean? So I'm using the first shade, then my second shade, and I've got to go let my eyes rest. I am seeing like double of everything. No, it's it's fine. It happens with me. I've had um I actually had my eyes dilated last month or the month before just to have them checked because of my vision getting messed up sometimes. And because I'm a painter also and paint a lot, I paint for Neiman's and Nordstrom's just a few days out of the year, but um, my eyes get tired and I need to just stop and rest them. So, but now if you can imagine this all the way across the top of the page, you'll see how it will be worth it to have the three shades on it. And I'm going to do this middle thing dark, whatever that is. Okay, so I am going to keep working on that another time. Not right now. I'm going to pay attention to my body and go rest my eyes. Um, but anyway, next time I come back, I may work on this duck down here. I'm thinking that's more like a mallard duck, so it's going to have some of the purples and blues in it. But we'll see. Who knows? By the time I get there, I may change my mind. All right. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.